Mike Chat here along with my two champions, Hannah Zeitung and Raina Vallandingham. Today's a very special day as we've heard this amazing story about an ATA mother who has been recently diagnosed with breast cancer in the San Diego area. A student of Senior Master Wackles, Mrs. Paige Rollins, is this incredible ATA mother with an amazing story of courage. Today we're traveling to meet Mrs. Rollins and grant her one very special wish. My name is Paige Rollins and I'm 37 years old and I was just diagnosed with breast cancer. I felt a lump one day and I called the doctor's office to make sure it wasn't anything. And I made my appointment and I had just had my mammogram and I had just been to the doctor and it does not run in my family so I wasn't very nervous. Two weeks later, after three doctor's appointments, they called me at school, I'm a teacher, and over the phone they said, we just read your biopsy and the lump is cancer. That was a pretty heavy call and I was kind of stunned and wasn't expecting them to say that. Uh, the world was kind of frozen. I had a lot of anxiety deciding on how to tell my son about my cancer. The room was fuzzy, I couldn't see, um, my stomach was upside down, but it was like the world, the, the weight of being a parent is on you because you don't want to mess up. And I don't want to scare him, but I, do want it, I did want him to know the magnitude of what was going to happen. I remember I looked at him and I said, you know, I have cancer. And then it's kind of the world stopped. And I don't know if he looked up from his plate, but he might have. And he just said, oh, breast cancer? And I was like, yeah, breast cancer. And uh, it was as if like the blood had all rushed back into me because it was going to be OK. I wasn't expecting him to take it that way, but he wasn't scared, and I wasn't scared. He just knew that he had heard of it and they wear pink belts to show support for breast cancer. And so I anticipate as this path moves forward, it didn't start from such a low place where it could have. The community here at ATA was so thoughtful and wonderful and kind. I think when they approached me, um, some people approached me just like normal, which I appreciate, just regular hugs. And I appreciate the smells and Evil emails on how are you doing. We wanted to reach out and support her any way we could. Any Taekwondo school has a family community spirit to it and all the parents want to kind of pull together. The Wishing for Mommy program giving uh, gifts of money to mothers who have problems with breast cancer. It's going to have long legs. I think it's going to be successful and anything we can do to help our martial arts students, mothers, their families is a good thing. I feel great about the Wishing for Mommy program. It gave, if you ask me what my wish is, my big wish right now, my big wish is that my children have a good experience with cancer and that I'm a good example to them so that they can have a better life. And so when the Wishing for Mommy program came, it was like a breath of fresh air because I was scared about all the doctor's bills I have piling up. So instead of me worrying, I could be a good parent. Mrs. Rollins, on the behalf of Senior Master Wackles and, and his staff, the ATA, XMA, the HU Lee Foundation, we're here on the behalf of wishingformommy.org and you know, we're here to support mommies with breast cancer. We're very excited to present these two, these two wishes for you. Uh, we have Miss Raina Vallandingham here, who's gonna present um, Carter and Pax with their pink belts today. Okay. And we want to congratulate you on being the very first Wishing for Mommy recipient of the $500 grant for you to use for whatever you want during this upcoming holiday season. And we've got Miss Hannah Zeitung here to present it to you. Thank you for being a great leader. Well, one thing I always talk to my staff about and all my black belts, my leadership students, is the reason we do this is because we change people's lives every day. And you never know how you're affecting people on the floor. It's not just about kicking and punching, it's about the life skills and community, making better people. My children deserve to have the best mom. And I'm going to be the best mom.
What um, I'm grateful for is giving us a sense of community and I'm really grateful that we have a, a great place that, with people that care about us and gives us happy memories and laughter and events. Um, so I'm really grateful that it's a place to call home.